Hey Thinksters, welcome to this new video about built-in functions and we will continue with the bin built-in function which converts a decimal integer to a binary string. As you can see here in the example, if we give it the input 3, we get back 0b. That's always the sign that we have a binary string here and then 1 times 2 and 1 times 1 which gives which adds up to 3 and we can also do it with negative integers then we get a minus 0b and then the binary number the binary string it's a string which we get back and it would be a bit boring just like that yeah that's what the binary the bin built-in function does so i thought we could go together over a little function which I created and it converts a binary string back to decimal. So how does it work? How can we convert a binary string to decimal? And I want to show you first the theory behind it and then we go over my implementation. So here we have a binary string. In Python you would have 0b before in front of the ones and zeros. Not a little two here, but zero B in front, which marks the binary string. And this last one means that we take one time two to the power of zero. So a one, we add a one. And here this one means that we take one times two, two to the power of one and so on. So every one, means take this and the zero means skip it. So we or we take the powers of two and either we take it or we leave it. And then we add them up and we get the final result. So like this, here you can see it. These are the powers of two here above and below you write one or zero and then you add the number if there's a one below or if there's a zero, you skip it. So my implementation does exactly this actually, but we get the as input a binary string. So here, this is two to the power of zero here, the last, um, the last digit. And yeah, here you see the output of bin of x and x is minus 99. So first of all, I reverse this string with this line here, with this part of the code, we can reverse the string. So we would iterate over one, one, zero, zero, up to z minus zero b in this case. So first we reverse the input, which is a string still. Then here this is a stop condition if we reach the b we know the digits are over the number is over and i initialized x which is the exponent and the total both with zero and here with this part of the code i convert the character one or zero to an integer so one times or zero times two and the power of this instance so we go from i show it to you from right to left actually but i reverse the string so we go from left to right but over the reverse string and we increment the exponent so what we get is just this two to the power of zero one two three that's why we need to increment the exponent in each step and by multiplying 2 to the power of the exponent of this iteration, we either take this or we leave it. And we sum it all up to the total. And in the last step, we have to check if the input was negative or positive. So we can check it here in one line. I, I made it as short as possible. You could maybe write it in a normal if statement, then it becomes a bit longer and it would be more readable maybe. So here I check is the first character, now it's not the reverse string, yeah? I don't reverse it in place. I just 
reverse it once and here in this reversed instance of the string only exists in this iteration in this loop so in binary string there's still the original input it's not reversed so if you take the first character of the string it's a minus and then we check if the first character of the string is a minus then return minus total so this is what we return if the if is true and if it's wrong if we don't have a minus in front we return just total without the minus because the input was also positive and as you can see here I assign the result of the two decimal function back to R and then I print B which was the result of the binary function and R which is the result of my two decimal function and you can see the input was minus 99 I converted it to a binary string passed it to, to the two decimal function and I, I assigned the result to R and then we get the output it's the binary string and my function correctly converted this binary string to the integer minus 99 let's try it with minus 1 for example and here you see 2 to the power of 0 is 1 so the output is minus 1 that's correct because here we also have a minus or just a 2 and 2 is to the to the power of 1 so we have 1 0 it works correctly so that's the bin built-in function it just converts an integer to a binary string and we also saw saw how we can convert it back with a function of course there's also a built-in function to convert it back you don't have to implement it yourself but maybe it was interesting to see how we can do it with our own implementation